Welcome ladies and gents, we've got an update on the Alien FX TV series by Noah Hawley. Uh, we've got a reiteration of the timeline, however, as this is an exclusive to Deadline, they're not, they're not quoting specific timelines, so I think they're basing the information that they have from previous uh, information from John Landgraf. So we'll, we'll, we'll cover that, because I did a video on it before actually, breaking down the timeline and where I think the effects series will sit in the timeline and how it reveals that Wayland Jutani knew everything all along. And how they knew it as well, actually. Which I'll leave linked above. Uh, I really enjoyed doing that video, so check it out. But let's take a look. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new, folks, and turn the bell notifications on. It says, look, FX's Alien series adds foundation actress Sandra Yi Sensen Diver. Uh, and filming is continuing in Thailand as we speak. So it says... Here, executive produced, this is an exclusive by the way, the exclusive, for those that don't know how these things work, is the actress has joined. That's the exclusive. And then they're going to uh, go through here and just reveal some bits and pieces that's already been known. And that's where I think, that's where I think that they're getting the 30 years thing from, which you know, we'll get to. But it says here, executive produced by Ridley Scott. The prequel series will set uh, will be set towards the end of this century, and it says here a few years before Prometheus. Now, there is nothing that there's nothing here saying that they've confirmed it. There, by the way, um, if it's set before Prometheus, that will actually be an issue with the timeline. That will really that will destroy canon. Now, the reason why I think that they're saying it's going to be set before Prometheus. Is because in 2022, two years ago, John Landgraf had said at a big sort of FX a keynote speech, whatever, he said, he's the FX head, he said that the series will be set towards the end of the century, uh, some, uh, I think he said 70 odd years from now, which would put it before the events of Prometheus. But he didn't say. 70 years he said some 70 years from now and so i think what what you'll see now is a whole bunch of articles popping up because there's already one on twitter from discussing films saying it's set 30 years immediately before alien and this article alone you know from deadline saying it is set you know a few years before prometheus that's not confirmed until you get a date an actual date in mind Right, and they say it's in uh, 2092, right? Then yes, that would be set before Prometheus. Until we get the clear-cut date, we cannot say it's set before Prometheus. Because again, John Landgraf had just said it's set towards the end of the century, some, the quote is, some 70 years from now. So it's not set in stone. It's not set in stone. I think it's important to stress that. Uh, and this is, yeah, like, Deadline are not being very smart by doing that. They're going to perpetuate potential misinformation. The prequel series will be set towards the end of the century, a few years before Prometheus, and some 30 years before Ridley Scott's film. It'll be the first project in the franchise to take place on Earth. And it says this, and has been reported to deal with the emergence of the story's infamous Wayland yutani Corporation and the race between corporations to create new Android life. Now, that's true. So... Deadline are not very good on their leaking of information. So, I will confirm some slight spoilers here. Well, that's not really that spoilery. There is concept art that has leaked uh, a while ago now, actually, which it shows a Wayland yutani spaceship crashing into uh, Prodigy Corporation's sort of... Uh, Prodigy Corporation is another megacorp. Uh, crashing into one of their buildings and essentially one of their campuses, one of their cities, because I think it's set up Prodigy City or something like that. So it, it's not necessarily the emergence of Wayland Utani's Corporation. So they're, they're, they are wrong there. It is actually all about Prodigy Corporation. Wayland Utani's in it, but they're not the focus point. They are in it because their ship crashed lands in uh, Prodigy Corporation City or their sort of area. And then there are obviously xenomorphs on board, eggs, uh, and presumably a specimen. And because of that, they run rampant on Earth. And this is why, if it's the way I did it in the timeline video, for those that can't be bothered to go watch it, 
is I said that in Prometheus, for instance, it is set in 2093 and then it closes on 2094. It's a two year journey. And if Weyland Yutani was on that spaceship himself, it would make sense that they have also sent another vessel alongside that vessel to go and capture specimens or uh, go and investigate LV-426 because they knew about LV-426 anyway. That's all the special features of Prometheus. So there's a whole host of information there. Um, and it could, it could kind of align with... If it is set before Prometheus, it wouldn't make too much sense unless they sent two ships. One to LV-426 uh, and LV-22... LV-426 and LV-223. So we'll see. But Deadline are a bit slow on this with respect to what they're saying. It's reported to deal with the emergence of Weyland Jutani. I mean, yes and no, not really. It's mainly Prodigy Corporation. And it is, yes, to do with... Uh, the aim is to create a new version of Android life with human consciousness transplanted into it. So there is that. They are right there, kind of. And it says here, the series will star Sidney Chandler, Alex Lawther, Essie Davies, Adash, Gaurav, Kit Young, Timothy Oliphant, which I can't wait for Timothy Oliphant, he's great, David Ridsdale, uh, Babu Sese, Arana James, Lily Newmark, Adrian Edmondson, and of course, Sandra Yee, Sins and Diver. Uh, it says this, We understand that Sins and Diver appears in multiple episodes and will play a senior member of the Weyland yutani Corporation. We hear there's scope for the character to grow in future series because they have said they want to do more. So I'd imagine she's going to come in and be, like, really pissed. Maybe she'll be the Utani element of the Corporation. Maybe. Um... But she'll probably come in and be like, oh my god, you've got our specimens, we need our specimens back. Something like that, anyway. Uh, FX boss John Landgraf recently described the show as a big imaginative reimagining of the Alien franchise and compared it to Hawley's work on FX, uh, Hit Fargo. He also confirmed that the show is designed to be an ongoing series, which is true. So there you go. Again, I would say she's probably going to be the Utani element of Wayland Utani. Uh, you know, it's filming in Thailand, stuff like this. I don't know. I mean, until they confirm a date, I'm not going to say it's set before Prometheus. That That is taking what John Landgraf said two years ago as a literal statement. It's set at the end of the century. It's set some 70 years from now. Yes, yeah, some being the word, it could be 72, 73, 74. Could be any manner, any manner of things. Uh, so there you go. What do you think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.